This is a quick review of the graphical procedure of reverse alignment. Knowing how to graph plot can give you a visual image of how the shafts are positioned. This can be helpful when having problems with thermal movement, pipe strain, or settling foundations. This video is designed for those that are familiar with reverse alignment but have not performed the alignment recently and perhaps need a refresher course. Let's begin. In preparation for the procedure, be sure you have checked for sag, checked for soft foot, cleaned under shims and your brackets are securely mounted and have checked to make sure that the indicators are touching all the way around. and of course, not bottoming out. It is important that you orient the pump and the motor the way it will appear on the graph. View with a fixed on the left and the movable on the right. Next, measure the distance between the two indicators the distance to the front foot then the distance to the rear foot. Write your numbers on the graph. In this case, 10 inches, 6 inches, and 12 inches. Now zero your indicators, or a plus reading to compensate for sag, at the top and then rotate to bottom, watching to see if they're going plus or minus. A small inspection mirror will be useful and may be needed to view indicators in tight areas. Prepare your graph with a legend for reference, where each horizontal square represents one inch, and each vertical square represents one thousandth of an inch. Now starting in the middle of the graph, draw a line representing the fixed shaft. Now count the number of squares that will be the distance between the indicators. Our measurement between indicators was 10 inches, so count 10 squares. Now draw a line representing the movable shaft. Now place marks representing the front and rear feet. 6 inches equals 6 squares to the front foot, and 12 inches equals 12 squares for the rear foot. To eliminate confusion, put plus and minus signs in the positions shown here. Now we have a view of the pump and motor, the same as it appears on the graph. Looking at it from the side for the vertical move, and looking at it from above for the horizontal move. For the vertical move, the total indicator reading on the fixed is plus 12. The total indicator reading on the movable reads minus 18. Please note, half the total indicator reading is needed to move the shaft into proper position. The indicator on the fixed reads plus 12, so count up six squares on the plus side of the line and place a dot, as shown here. The indicator on the movable reads minus 18, so count up 9 squares on the minus side of the center line and place a dot. Now with the straight edge, draw a line connecting the two dots and extend it over the part of the graph representing the feet. This will show you the exact position of the center line of the movable shaft at the front and rear feet. The graph should now show you that you need to lower the front foot 11 thousandths of an inch and lower the rear foot 14 thousandths of an inch. For the horizontal move, the distance measurements, plus and the minus signs, are all still the same. The only difference is that you will now be viewing from above instead of from the side, and you will zero the indicators from the far side and read on the near side 
versus top and bottom as before. The indicator on the fixed reads minus 50. We count down half the indicator reading, which should be 25 squares. This needs to be placed on the minus side of the fixed line at the indicator position. There we place a dot. The indicator on the motor reads plus 48. Count 24 squares, which is half the indicator reading on the plus side of the line, and we place a dot. Now extend the line through the dots and over the area of the feet as before. This tells you that the front foot needs to be moved 23 thousandths to the left and the rear foot needs to be moved 22 thousandths to the left. This move can be achieved by adjusting the indicators to half the reading then adjusting the motor while watching the indicators go to zero. Let's illustrate. With both indicators set to half their total reading, adjust the front foot until the indicator on the movable reads zero. Now adjust the back foot until the shaft is parallel. As you adjust the back foot, the motor is now pivoting and the indicator on the fixed is moving away from zero. It will be parallel when both indicators are reading the same number value. In this example, minus 12 and plus 12. Now adjust the front foot until the indicator on the pump reads zero. Now you walk the motor into position by watching both indicators go to zero. The marks on this graph indicate the number of moves it may take to obtain a zero reading. Now let's rotate to the far side to double check our readings. Make sure to tighten all your bolts. Also, check out our new free phone app. You can always have the calculations with you on your laptop, your tablet, or your phone. This has been a basic reverse alignment refresher course. Please note, many other factors can affect alignment and they can be reviewed at alinemanufacturing.com.